Strap yourselves in folks, this is going to be a long one. Could you make a more boring opening? I've watched more exciting funeral processions. Because they cover up the sexual abuse of children. Okay, I didn't hear the age. They cover up statutory rape. I don't want to know the age. They even help sex traffickers. Wait up, wait up. And cover up the sex slavery of young girls. They hold themselves above the law. And ignore mandatory reporting requirements. And ignore parental consent laws. How ironic, the film is in black and white, just like they're thinking. If those other videos are anything like the video that I'm going to talk about in a second, then it will have about as much truth to it as a Michelle Bachman speech. When they get caught, they call it an isolated incident. But they aren't isolated incidents. They've been caught on camera doing it 17 times. Then they tell us it's just a training problem. 17 times. 17 times. Okay, in this first part, they're talking about a video that Live Action put out on the 1st of February, uh, right after legislation to ban funding for birth control was uh, introduced into the uh, House and Senate. Hmm, what an amazing coincidence. Anyway, uh, they claim it shows a cover-up of sex trafficking. Of course, pro-lifers seem to have a hard time with the facts, so let's educate them a little bit, shall we? On January 24th, over a week before this video, Planned Parenthood released a statement. I'll leave um, all relevant links in the crotch bar. Um, in this statement, they state that they have alerted federal authorities to a potential multi-state sex trafficking ring. And when the video came out, they actually fired the employee who was giving out the bullshit advice. Some fucking conspiracy. Oh my god, Planned Parenthood are so powerful that they could see into the future, saw that we were going to expose them and preemptively called the cops. Does their power know no bounds? They are corrupt from the top down. Now they're facing 107 criminal charges in Kansas. 107. Okay, what I could find about the 107 charges in Kansas is that a criminal complaint has been filed against one Planned Parenthood clinic in Kansas um, alleging its operators not only failed to diagnose required conditions for uh, late-term abortions but also performed illegal abortions and provided false information about them. Um, I can't really say much about this because it's, a, it's an ongoing case and there's not really much uh, evidence floating about because obviously it's, uh, the case is still uh, ongoing. But don't you love how they make it sound like it's a, it's a foregone conclusion that Planned Parenthood is guilty? Um, isn't, isn't the term innocent until proven guilty kind of like a big American tenant, a big, a big American ideal? I guess not when the people charged don't fit your twisted agenda. And in Alabama, the health department found nine violations in just one Birmingham clinic. Okay, with the Alabama thing, I found a, a page that says that uh, health officials have put the Birmingham Clinic of Planned Parenthood of Alabama uh, on a year-long probation after an inspection revealed multiple problems, including uh, not adequately verifying parental consent forms from uh, minors getting abortions and not reporting a potential case of child sexual abuse. Now, I, I can't defend that. I mean, who could? You know, if they were violating the law, then the people who were doing that should be punished. What I find funny is that Planned Parenthood has about 820 locations in the United States, and they have found violations in, what, two, three? It's going to happen, you know, as sad as it may be. There are some bad people out there. But Lucia, the, the solution is not to defend Planned Parenthood. You know, it should be to root out the employees who aren't sticking to the rules, kick them out, and make sure you get people in who know what the laws are. And stop acting like this is solely Planned Parenthood. Out of all the companies in America, how many do you think have absolutely no one doing anything against the law? Now this is, this is by no means excusing what they did. But it does happen and Planned Parenthood are doing their case, uh, are doing their best to weed it out and so they can continue their good work like, uh, I don't know, saving people's fucking lives? Court proceedings in Kansas just revealed they were responsible for failing to report statutory rape. Because they killed 332,000 unborn children last year. 332,000 in, in one year alone. <sighs> Emotionally blackmailing people is standard form for you guys, isn't it? Because they make nearly $162 million a year. On abortions alone. What the fuck is this? I have two speakers, you know. You don't, you don't need two people to say this shit. $162 million a year? Do they keep saying the same thing over and over again so it will penetrate the average pro-lifer's thick skull or what? Abortion is their cash cow. And they call themselves a non-profit? That's because they are a non-profit organization. 
Below you'll see a link from their uh, 2008 tax return which specifically shows them to be a non-profit organization. You know who are for profit though? All the fucking American insurance companies. Why aren't you talking about them actually profiting from people's cancers, tumors, and other illnesses? I guess when it's not abortions, you don't really give a fuck, do you? And they're working on a massive abortion expansion. For the next two years. It's not an abortion expansion, you moronic tool. Planned Parenthood just wants to increase the number of places which you can have an abortion, and they have the right to do so because of that pesky thing called the law. No forcing abortions on anyone, just information that They use our tax dollars to kill unborn children? First off, sweetie, I doubt you're even old enough to pay taxes. Secondly, in the United States, the taxes, your, your taxes don't actually get used for what you want, okay? I know it's not fair, but that's the real world. There are quite a lot of people who wouldn't want their taxes to pay for Iraq, or Afghanistan, or the FDA, or even the EPA. That's life, bitch. Get used to it. There are better health centers to give money to. Defund Planned Parenthood. They performed 333 abortions. For every single adoption referral. And so I assume everyone in this video has a house full of adopted brothers and sisters then, since you're all so concerned about the welfare of children. No? Didn't think so. And their clinics even have abortion quotas to meet every month. Okay, all I could find out about abortion quotas is from a now uh, ex-director of Planned Parenthood in Texas, who now seems to be smearing them. I can't actually find any evidence that what she's saying is true, so I'm afraid this goes into the pile named Shit Someone Made Up. That is an abortion first mentality. Defund Planned Parenthood. Because they were founded on a philosophy of racism and eugenics. And they still honor their racist founder, Margaret Sanger, to this day. Ah, I think anyone who has ever participated in the debate on YouTube between evolution and creationism can recognize this argument. It's the, um, basically, person X has this view, person X created or, or found or made Y, therefore company or product Y has the same view of X. From what I can find of Margaret Sanger, yes, yeah, she did have, um, you know, views that were, you know, inappropriate and irrational. But what the fuck does that have to do with plant parenthood? You know, this, this is the trait of Christian pro-life thinking, you know, the whole world is black and white, good and bad, everyone who is bad will always be bad no matter what. Is Ford forwarding an agenda of anti-Semitism because of Henry Ford's personal views? And you know who started Volkswagen? Yeah, the fucking Nazis, alright? Godwin's law be damned. Is Volkswagen promoting an agenda of an all-white Aryan world? No, of, of course not. Because of the views of a person who creates something is not necessarily the views of their creation, especially if they died decades ago and the company has grown, changed and evolved since then. People with irrational views can still make positive contributions to the world. I know it might hurt your little fundy brains to imagine a world with shades of grey, but don't worry, you can just go back to your own little Jesus Loves America bubble and everything will be hunky-dory again. And over a third of their abortions are done on black women. But blacks only make up 13% of the population. That is black genocide. Black genocide? Oh, fuck, this is starting to hurt my head. Black people make up 13.6% of the population. There are more black people in America now than there ever have been, and that number is only set to rise. Uh, the link provided shows that uh, the projected black population is set to hit 15% by 2050. So, um, where's the black genocide again? You know, this is really racist at its core, you know, treating black women like they're some sort of uh, simpletons who, who can get persuaded by doctors and nurses to have an abortion. Also, I'll leave a link below that refutes the claim that abortion clinics, uh, the most, the majority of abortion clinics are in predominantly black neighborhoods. I feel like I'm talking to a fucking brick wall. It has to be black genocide. <laughs> really? Yup. Don't you think you're fighting the wrong battle here? What do you mean? Shouldn't you be focusing more on why a large number of black women go to Planned Parenthood? Is it maybe because of poor sex education? Um, poverty maybe? No, that's too reasonable. It must be because of them fancy abortion doctors using fancy talking sitch. Defund Planned Parenthood. Would you stop killing our babies? Please. They come into our schools and encourage us to be promiscuous. What? By being honest with you and showing you ways to have safe sex? No way! They have given medical instructions out of line with the FDA, resulting in the deaths of women. And how many women do you think would die from botched abortions if Planned Parenthood was done away with? And what about the doctors and nurses pro-life nutbars have killed over the years? You've got some fucking nerve. Think for five minutes, will you? 
Defunding Planned Parenthood won't get rid of abortions, just like not talking about evolution makes it any less of a fact. Because they lie about the risks of abortion. And if they wanted you to have an abortion, why would they teach people about contraception and care after you've decided to keep your pregnancy? Man, this is so easy. Keep it coming. And about the humanity of the unborn child. It's, it's not a baby, it's a fetus. <gasps> and they tell the truth too? By saying that it's a fetus and not a baby? Say it ain't so! They say pictures of abortion victims are fake. Yeah, they're fake. Fake. Fake! And they manipulate women to choose abortion. The irony here of talking about manipulating women when this video is full of emotional blackmail, myths, truths and lies is staggering. Because they killed my brothers. My sisters. My cousins. My friends. My classmates. My teammates. My lover. You had sex with a fetus? My lover. But the tide is turning. The majority of Americans are now pro-life. Pro-restricting women's rights. Planned Parenthood has been shoving abortion down our throats. Shoving abortion down your throat? I know that's not legal. And we're not buying what they're selling. We're not buying what they're selling. And you know what you're doing there? You're making a choice not to participate in their policies. Kinda nice, isn't it? To be able to make your own mind up about what to do with your own body. And the rest of it is just a bunch of crap. Okay, um, final, final statement. Um, I want to talk to all the, uh, the pro-life people who, who may be watching this. Um, I want you to think of uh, how bad you would feel about uh, having an abortion, okay? You know, those, uh, those conflicting emotions, guilt, maybe shame, feelings that you're doing the wrong thing. Um, you know all those things? Well, that's how every single fucking woman feels. That's just not limited to you. The vast majority of women who think about going for an abortion feel the same. It is never an easy decision. Just because someone is pro-choice doesn't mean it's not a, a heart-wrenching heart decision for them to make. It resonates with them just as much as it would with you. And with shit like this, you're completely dismissing the emotional pain and suffering that they go through. So don't ever say that you're for women. They need help before, and they need support after. And hopefully they will be, they will be able to get it from uh, family, friends, boyfriends, uh, etc. They may even decide not to have the abortion. And Planned Parenthood helps with that too by providing prenatal care. And you not only want to take away all that, but all the, the screenings, all the information, all the help that these people give to poor families who can't afford healthcare. Fuck you, you oppressive, lying, hypocritical bastards.